Hi, Namaste. Welcome to Utsav Yoga. My name is Shikha Chando, and today I will be taking you through a very interesting flow with my favorite prop, and that is yoga wheel. Well, I will be doing more flows with the same prop, but today uh, the major target will be our hamstrings and the strength. So we will be uh, really working those hamstrings, working on the splits, getting some good arm strength, core strength, and then at the end you will feel that your entire body is nicely worked out, pumped up, and yet very very rejuvenating and refreshing feeling you will end up with so let's get started we bring our hands to heart center make sure that your thumb is touching the heart center eyes closed and we take a nice long deep inhalation as we exhale we try and relax each and every muscle of the body from head to toe breathing in long again And this time as we exhale, we try and drop all sorts of negative emotions. We try and drop everything on the mat. And now we breathe in and chant a round of Om. Inhale. Falling your head down. Just take a moment to set your intention first. When you open your eyes, you look down first and then you look up. We start with a gentle warm up right now, your palms on your knees, and as we inhale, we start rotating our shoulders. Eight, seven, six, five, really roll those shoulders back. Four, three, two and one and now we try and do the opposite eight seven six keep inhaling and keep exhaling alongside five four three two and one relax we interlace the fingers as you inhale take a nice Give a nice good stretch to your arms. Make sure your arms are behind your ears and your shoulders are not crunched up, but it's just relaxed away from the ears. And as you exhale, you try and bend to the right a little. Give a gentle stretch to your left waist. Inhale, come center. Exhale, go on to the other side. Inhale, center. Exhale to relax and now we interlace the fingers behind you breathing in pull the arms down open up the chest and as you exhale you just go forward taking your arms as high as possible giving a good stretch to your shoulders relaxing your back completely and never forget to breathe in and breathe out three two and one inhale to come back up exhale to relax and now we begin with a very gentle dynamic warm-up so we start with our favorite position which is cat and cow make sure that your wrists are right underneath your shoulders and your knees are hip width distance apart spread the fingers of the palms nicely so that you have got good grip and now as we inhale we arch our spine gaze between your eyebrows Exhale to relax. Release all the tension from your spine. Gaze towards your belly button. Inhale, arch, gazing up. Exhale to contract. Inhale, arch, gazing up. Exhale, contract. Inhale, arch, gazing up. Exhale to contract. One last. Inhale, arch. Exhale to contract. Come back to center. And now you tuck your toes under, breathing in deeply. And as you exhale, you lift yourself up to come into a nice downward facing dog. Ensure that your heels are on the mat, your shoulders are rolled away from your ears, and you're continuously looking towards your belly button. That's your drishti. Press your heels firmly onto the ground so that you get a good stretch at the back of your legs. 
Start with your breathing here. Six. Five. You're still warming up, so take it easy. Take it slow. Give deeper breaths, longer breaths. Two. And one. And now as you inhale, you lift your heels up. Go on to your big toes, roll the spine up to come into upward facing dogs. Just kind of adjust your feet a little. And as you exhale, you lead with your tailbone to come back into downward facing dog. We do this couple of times. Inhale, heels all the way up, rolling your spine to drop down into upward facing dog. And as you exhale, leading with your tailbone to come back into downward facing dog. Couple of more times, inhale, rolling up to come into up dog. Really isolate your back here. Exhale, back into downward facing dog. Once again, inhale, rolling up to come into up dog. And as you exhale, you lift your tailbone up to come back into downward facing dog. One last here, inhale, rolling up to come into upward facing dog. And this time, you can drop your thighs on the mat. Just Ensure that your shoulders are not closer to the ears like that. So just roll it, roll it down. And as you exhale, twist your spine, look over the left shoulder. Give a nice twist to your spine. Try and gaze towards your right foot. That should be your drishti. Three, two, one. Inhale, come back to center. And as you exhale, you go on to the other side, looking over the right shoulder. Gaze towards your left foot, three, two, and one. Inhale, come back to center. As you exhale, you come back and get into a nice child's pose. Release your back, take your hands forward, drop your head down. Stay connected with your own breath, three, two, and one. Inhale to come back up. And now we get into more heated warm up, which is our sun salutation. So let's get going. Front of the mat, we'll do only a couple of rounds, then flow into a, a tiny flow before we grab hold of our prop. So feet together, front of the mat. Make sure that your abdominal lock is maintained and your, and your tailbone is not arching out, but tucked in. Now let's start. Inhale, both the hands up, join your palms. As you exhale, make a nice flat back to come all the way down. Inhale, look halfway up, lengthen your spine. Exhale, take your right leg back, left leg back. Either stay here or go down to get into Chaturanga. Inhale to come into upward facing dog. Drishti between your eyebrows. Exhale to come back into down dog. Drishti on your belly button, heels pressing on the mat. Six. Breathe in and breathe out. Five. Four, keep pulling your shoulders away from the ears. Three, two, one. Inhale, look between your palms, stepping with your right forward and then your left. Exhale to fold forward more. Inhale, hands up. Join your palms. We straight away flow into the second round. Exhale all the way down. And now we paste up a little. Inhale, look halfway up, lengthen the spine. Exhale, right leg back, left leg back. Either stay here or add on a challenge by going down into Chaturanga. Inhale into upward facing dog. Exhale into down dog. Gazing towards the belly button. Six. Five. If you can, get onto the Ujjayi breath. Nothing like it. Four. Three. Two. One. Inhale, look between your palms, stepping with your right and then your left. Exhale to fold forward. Inhale, hands up. Last round. Gaze towards your thumb. Exhale all the way down with a good flat back. Inhale, lengthen the spine. Look halfway up. Exhale, take your right leg back and your left back. Going down into Chaturanga. Everybody this time. Inhale, into upward facing dog. Exhale, into down dog. Once again, gaze towards your belly button. And this time, you should really feel that your hamstrings are actually opening up. The tightness is getting released. Five. Four. Three. 
to one i'm gonna add on from here as you inhale you take your right foot outside your right palm we get into a nice lizard lunge drop both the forearms on the mat right now you drop your left knee down we try and focus on the hip right now take your right hand put it on your right knee and push it out and let's just stay here for a while with good deep breaths four three two and one release push the mat inhale to come back up exhale going back into downward facing dog and now as you inhale take your left foot outside your left palm dropping both the forearms down right knee down taking your left hand to push your left knee out and stay here feel that stretch around your hip region five four three two one come back on the mat push to come back up once again tuck your right toe under exhale go back into downward facing dog dropping your knees down inhale long exhale to slide forward into puppy take your hands all the way forward if you want you can grab hold of the mat from the outer edges and you draw the chin on the mat and stay let's breathe here six five four three two and one inhale to slowly come back up and now take your toes under one last time down dog no matter what down dogs are always our favorite pose exhale to go back into downward facing dog and now very gently you start walking towards your hands make sure your belly is drawn in nicely and slowly micro bend your knees and rolling up and now we grab hold of our wheel open your legs the stance can be as per your height i like to go a little wider because this it really allows me to open up my hamstrings more take the wheel we get into the wide legged forward fold and why the wheel so that we are aligned really well palms on your waist roll the shoulders down inhale look up and as you exhale make a nice flat back go all the way down and if you can drop your forehead on the wheel please do that and relax your hands on the mat if you cannot touch the mat you can just put it on your knees your ankles wherever just ensure that your shoulders are relaxed and now with the wheel what happens we are automatically shifted towards our big toe so we are getting a very nice deep stretch to the back of our legs and we want to stay here for a couple of deep breaths strong ujjayi breaths maintain your abdominal lock eight relax your neck you're resting nicely on the wheel six five keep feeling the stretch at the back of your legs and please remember if you have any sort of any pinching pain around your lower back you can always micro bend your knees otherwise keep it straight four let your hamstrings open up three two one inhale look half way up lengthen your spine and as you exhale you put your right palm on the wheel grab hold of the wheel nicely and as you exhale you twist and lift your left arm up look at your left thumb make sure your arm is right next to the ear and it's not just hanging somewhere at the back align yourself properly get that twist in your spine 3 2 and one inhale long exhale to come back and go on to the other side lifting your right arm up arm next to the ear drishti is on your right thumb three make sure your abdominal lock is maintained two and one inhale long exhale to come back drop both the palms on the wheel and inhale to come all the way up exhale to come back into samasthiti he once again you take the wheel and put it right in front of you ensure that your feet is only hip width distance apart well that was wide legged forward fold and now we are going to do the standing forward fold 
just the way we went into the previous one put your palms on your waist roll the shoulders back tailbone tucked in inhale long and as you exhale you press through your pelvic bones and go forward with a nice flat back if you're here it's fine just drop the head down if you can go a little bit more you rest your forehead on the wheel now why we are resting our forehead on the wheel is because our stomach is resting right on our thigh so it's really aligning the body well we are we are on our big toes we're getting a nice deep stretch at the back of our legs and now you can just relax your hands down keep it easy and start breathing in and breathing out six ensure that you're exhaling more than you inhale because you want to let go we want to release everything that's stored in our hamstrings five four three two and one inhale to look halfway up bring your palms back on the waist as you exhale and now as you inhale come up with a nice flat back exhale to relax wow you really feel your hamstrings opening up by now and now and now we go down and we start with the sitting asanas your legs hip width distance apart slightly more than hip width distance apart toes very slightly out hands to heart center take a nice long deep inhalation and as you exhale you all the way go down into a very deep yogic squat into malasan that's my favorite now use your elbows to push your knees out push it out so that you get a nice stretch around the groin region hands to heart center thumb touches your heart center eyes closed longer deep breaths guys 8 6 5 It's quite possible that you may not be able to sit all the way down and then your heels are just going to be up. That's all right. You can just keep trying but ensure that you do not get any kind of pinching pain around the knee. Okay? And then slowly you can bring your heels down with practice. 3 2 and 1. And now we sit in butterfly. We sit in butterfly. bringing your heels closer to the groin area as close as possible press it against each other and make sure that the soles of your feet is away from each other and now grab hold of the wheel put your palms on top of the wheel inhale long as you exhale you take the wheel further away from you as as far as possible so that you are really lengthening your back we don't want to go down with our nose right we want to rather lengthen the spine and at the same time keep feeling that stretch around our inner thigh and now when you reach your maximum just relax your shoulders drop the head down and get into your with your breathing eight seven six keep lengthening your back five Four, three, two, and one. Inhale to slowly roll the wheel towards you, and you come back up. Wow, that was a very, very good stretch around your back and your inner thigh. And now we once again shift our focus towards our hamstrings. We get into Janu Shri Sasan with the wheel this time. So keep your right leg bent and your left heel. should be on the wheel all right so maybe i'll give you the side view here bending your right leg and keeping your left heel on the wheel and that's it you will already you will already start to feel a very good stretch at the back of your leg and now just sit taller here inhale both the hands up reach out As you exhale you want to go forward with the arms and the body together and not just with the arms so go forward with the arms and the body grab hold of the wheel from wherever you can and now drishti on your left big toe keep pushing the wheel down with your heel that's what is going to open up your hamstrings just do not bounce here we have the tendency to just keep bouncing just stay wherever you are it's a you know it's it's a great hold it's a static hold right now and eventually if you can drop your chin on your knee 
really better six five wow i'm feeling a very nice stretch at the back of my leg four just breathe in and breathe out to avoid any kind of injuries three two and one and then just slowly come back up lengthen your spine exhale to bring your hands down and now we change sides bending your left leg and placing your right heel on the wheel that's all flex your foot nicely stay sit taller inhale both the hands up exhale reaching out reaching out reaching out and now just grab hold of the wheel look at your right big toe breathe in long exhale to just go forward eventually you can bring your chin on your knee you, you know if you cannot it's absolutely fine guys because it's a process it's a journey we don't want to go here on the on the very day one you just slowly work towards it just keep inhaling and keep exhaling stay connected with your own breath and you're amazing then five four three keep pushing the heel down keep pushing the heel down press your wheel three two and one inhale to slowly come back up exhale to relax wow and now we are all set and ready to get into the half splits we all want to get into the full splits but before that we really want to warm up and make sure that we don't have any injuries so come here and now put your right calf on the wheel i would say that you put your right calf on the wheel and now just check your balance if you can just stand tall here nicely and you have great balance here that's all you put your palms on the mat here now inhale here exhale to just roll forward with the wheel wow give a really great massage to your calf and inhale to come back up so that your heel touches the wheel exhale to roll all the way forward inhale to come back up give these rolls to your calf exhale go all the way forward inhale to come back up and if you think your wheel is just tipping you can always adjust it it's absolutely fine exhale forward inhale to come back up one last guys exhale forward and let's just stay here so go all the way forward and now you can adjust your leg on the wheel nicely just ensure that you're really lengthening through your spine inhale take both the hands up join your palms i know it's challenging but you're getting an amazing stretch on your right thigh and just the right amount of desired stretch actually which we need for hanuman asana three breathe almost there guys two and one exhale to bring both hands down and slowly roll back give that last massage to your calf and relax wow so now i can already feel that this leg is really warmed up and now we got to start working towards our right leg so we start in a similar way we put our right calf on the wheel put both the palms on the mat inhale long exhale to just roll forward 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 and inhale to roll back ensure that you're really pressing your leg and the wheel against each other exhale go forward inhale to slowly roll back it is very natural guys that your wheel will start to tip a little which is okay just keep adjusting exhale roll forward inhale to come back up two more times guys exhale rolling forward inhale bring it back so that your heel touches the wheel one last time exhale roll forward and adjust your wheel adjust your leg nicely on the wheel and now stand taller here lengthen your spine press the wheel really get a deep stretch at the back of your leg inhale both the hands up join your palms and stay six keep breathing in guys breathing is the key i'm telling you nothing nothing better than long deep inhalations and exhalations two and one inhale long exhale to slowly bring your hands back and slowly roll back give that last massage to your leg 
and relax. Let's take a nice, a quick child's pose. Open your knees wide apart. Inhale long. Exhale to come back and take your hands all the way forward. Forehead on the mat and stay. Take a couple of deep breaths. Come back to your own self. And slowly come back up. And now guys, we will target our arms, our core on the wheel. So it's going to be really fun and challenging at the same time. So take the wheel, put it right behind you. We all know planks. We all love doing planks, right? But this time you're going to get onto the plank with the help of the wheel. So ensure that your wheel is just placed right between your big toes right now so that you can just align well. Come in cat and cow position as you inhale. Just put your right toe on the wheel. Suck your belly in and push the mat with your palms to lift the left one and put it on the wheel. Now guys, ensure that your wrist is right underneath your shoulders and your belly is tucked in nicely. You look ahead, keep your shoulder blades away from each other. Wow, I'm already feeling the shiver around my core. Stay here, a couple of more deep breaths. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two. Really work those core muscles, guys. Really work it out. Three, two, one. Inhale long. Exhale to very slowly drop your right knee down and then your left. Wow. Sit back in Vajrasana. A quick stretch for your shoulders. Wrap your right arm over left. Getting into eagle arms. Clasp your hands. Put it on the forehead. Take your elbows away from each other. Take longer deep breaths. Three. Two and one. Inhale long, exhale to relax. Other side, wrapping your left over right. Clasp your hands, put it on the forehead, elbows away. Three, two and one. Breathe in long, exhale to come back. And now we are going to repeat the same but with the variation. So let's see how much we can pull it off on the wheel. It's really amazing for your arms, amazing for your core. So let's get going once again. Come back in cat and cow. Inhale, suck your belly in. Inhale deeply. Exhale, drop your right foot on the wheel once again. Extend the leg back and put your left one. Now, this time, try and drop your knees halfway down. Inhale to come up. Drop the knees down, inhale, come up. Drop your knees down, inhale up. Few more guys, knees halfway down, inhale up. And one last, halfway down, inhale up. Stay, shoulder blades away from each other. Away. And bring the wheel closer to drop your right knee down. And then your left one down. Sit back in Vajrasan. Make a fist and rotate your wrists nicely because we are going to get into a palm balance on the wheel and it's going to be a lot of fun. Okay, so we get now the next one because we've already worked, you know, uh, our core muscles. So we want to get onto the crow pose, but with the help of the wheel, because I think it's very challenging for a lot of us to hold this one for longer. You know, we can easily get onto the pose and maybe just take a nice pretty picture, but what is most important is holding a particular asana. So, just follow me. You come here, knees open. Bring your hips down. Keep your wheel right behind you because we are going to be using the wheel. Spread the fingers of the palms nicely. Open your knees and set it right outside your either elbows or your armpit. I'm not getting into a really advanced version right now. You're still towards the beginner version outside your armpit and hug it in nicely. Push the mat and go forward a little. Keep hugging your elbows. Lift your foot off. Bring the wheel. Okay. So we got to bring the wheel a little closer. So now press, lift your foot off and drop it on the wheel. 
lift your right foot off, drop it on the knee line. Here you go. You're into a great toe pose and you're holding it for a few deep breaths. Now just stay here, guys. Six. Look ahead. Five. Four. Three. Two. And one. Relax. Come back in Vajrasan. Ensure that whenever you do such intense palm balance, you always rotate your wrists. So rotate it clockwise and anti-clockwise. That was amazing for the arms and for your core. And now you bring the wheel in front of you. One last one for the hamstring and for a little bit of back release. We get into Pashimottanasana. Usually our legs are together in Pashimottanasana, but today you keep it slightly apart so that your wheel is right between your feet. And right now I'm sitting with a very hunched back just to make, make you all realize that this is really wrong. Just sit taller if you think you cannot. Take the extra skin out. And now just kind of rock it to feel your sitting bones. Now inhale both the hands up. Exhale, just reach out, reach out, reach out and just hug your wheel. That's all, hug your wheel. Bring it, bring it a little bit closer to you and drop the forehead on the wheel, that's all. That's your Pashimottanasana. It's a passive, it's a passive hold, guys. Make sure your belly is drawn in nicely. And we will try and deepen this pose after a few deep breaths. Keep your kneecaps pulled up straight. Keep flexing your feet. Keep reaching out with your heel. And now inhale long. Exhale to just take the wheel a little bit away from you. And you go all the way forward, put your forehead on the wheel. You know, guys, this is amazing. We don't realize, but such poses on the wheel can really align your back nicely. I'm just loving the hold here. I'm loving a very gentle stretch, which I'm getting at the back of my legs. Three, two, one. And now inhale, look halfway up, put your palms on the wheel. And as you exhale, just push the wheel further away from you, further away and hold it, grab hold of your prop, relax your shoulders, exhale to just reach out, go a little bit more forward and stay there. Drishti on the wheel right now, four, three, two and one, inhale to slowly come back up. Amazing guys, and now the counter pose, which is a reverse plank, which is also very challenging. In a reverse plank, to maintain that height is super challenging, and hence, and hence we have such a beautiful prop. Now you bend your legs, put your palms right behind your hips, finger pointing towards you. Put your one foot on the wheel, and then another one on the wheel. Inhale. First, you just kind of push the wheel further away. Inhale, lift your hips up. Push the wheel further away and make sure your hips go higher so that you just form one straight line and drop the neck back. And stay. You will start feeling it in your glutes in a while. Keep squeezing your inner thigh. Gaze towards your nose tip. Breathe. Feel that burn around your glutes. Stay. Three, two, and one. Inhale long. Exhale to slowly roll the wheel forward towards you and relax. Amazing, guys. And I just keep your wheel aside. We lie down. We lie down and we get into sleeping butterfly. Make sure your heels are closer to the groin area. Take your hands over the head. Grab hold of your elbows and stay there. It's, it's an amazing stretch around your groin. And now as you inhale, ensure that your stomach rises up. And as you exhale, your stomach falls down. Inhale, stomach rises up. Exhale, stomach falls down. One last. Inhale, stomach rises up. Exhale, stomach falls down. 
and relax. Bringing your legs closer, put your palms right next to the hips, feet hip width distance apart. As you inhale, you lift your hips up into Setu Bandhasan. Relax your shoulders, clasp your hands, go higher guys, as high as possible so that you form one straight line. Touch your hips, touch your glutes region. Is it tight enough or you still need to go a little bit more up? And let's just stay here for a couple of deep breaths. Deep Ujjayi breaths, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Exhale to relax. And now we're just trying to work towards our back. So we turn on the stomach. So you come sit up and very gently turn on your stomach, bringing your forearms right in front of the chest. Relax your shoulders. Keep it, roll the shoulders away from your ears. Keep your legs together. Spread the fingers of the palms. And now you consciously push the mat with your forearms. And now guys, this one is amazing to have a very natural and healthy curve of the spine. Just keep pushing the mat down with your forearms, eyes closed, look ahead and get into nice Ajay breaths, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, Two, one, open your eyes as you inhale, you extend your arms, push the mat further away. Guys, it's very important to keep a note of your shoulders, ensure that your shoulders don't go up like that, just relax it down. Keep pushing the mat further away, keep your hips relaxed. There is a very, very tiny stress that you will get around your lower back and that is absolutely okay. Just breathe in and breathe out. Three, two, and one. Exhale to come down slowly. And now breathe in here. Exhale to come back into child's pose. Once again, extend your back nicely. Knees together, hips on your heels. Hands forward, forehead on the mat and stay. Stay connected with your breath here. and slowly come back up. Now the favorite part for few of us, it's inversions. Now just ensure that if you're having periods or if, if there are a lot of abdominal cramps or anything of that sort, just it's okay. Do not listen to the ego of your body, avoid that. And rest of us can get into a nice shoulder stand, head stand with the help of the wheel today. So we lie down. We lie down straight and you keep your legs bent right now. Just, just set your wheel around your next, you know, make sure that your wheel is touching your hips right now. Take your legs up 90 degrees. Grab hold of the wheel just the way I'm holding right now. Take your legs a little bit back and roll the wheel a little bit more in. Inhale to lift your hips up. Roll the wheel towards your lower back. Set your lower back on the wheel and Keep your legs up. You can clasp your hands around the wheel. And here you go into a great supported shoulder stand on the wheel. And let's stay here. You can choose to keep your eyes closed. Allow the blood to flow in the opposite direction. And then after this pose, I'm very sure that you will have a great sense of clarity, calmness. Just do not forget to breathe in and breathe out here. Keep your inner thighs squeezed. Eight. Seven. Six. Five. Four. I'm loving this version of a shoulder stand. You have a great support. Three. Two, 
and one open your eyes inhale long exhale to bend your knees and you want to come down one vertebra at a time keep your knees hugged in towards your chest start rolling the wheel away from you and drop your back on the mat and just take a moment allow the blood to flow back just the way it's supposed to be flowing and relax and now it's time for the king of the asana which is a headstand with the help of the wheel so let's get started so we come in cat and cow position here and guys i'm going to show you two versions of it if you are really strong or if you have been practicing headstand then it's always amazing to grab hold of of your wheel and uh, just get on to the few variations of headstand otherwise if you are somebody who has just started to practice headstand you know you can just get into the first version which i'm going to be showing right now so keep your wheel right in front of you and hold the wheel from both the sides a little bit away drop your crown on the mat and ensure that the back of the head is resting against the wheel you just clasp your hands around the wheel now clasp it nicely so that you're aligned well tuck your toes under inhale lift your hips up that's all you know this much is also fine and start walking towards you so that the your upper back touches the wheel now this is the first version guys you can always stay here keep your shoulders relaxed shift the body weight around your arms a little and now if you want to go further bend one leg and get into the tuck you can just choose to stay this much and get more balance wheel is really amazing actually to really hold the poses for long and if you have been practicing you can just open 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 and straighten the legs up and stay here point your toes keep your inner thighs squeezed in and do not worry you're not going to fall or topple over because you have an amazing support with the wheel here allow allow the blood to reach your nervous system now bring your awareness towards the shoulders relax roll it away from the ears continue to breathe in and breathe out gaze just towards one point become meditative 8 and 1 take a nice long deep breath and as you exhale you just bring your both the legs together you have a support your back is resting against the wheel bring both the legs together and drop it on the mat relax rest in child's pose take few deep breaths and slowly come back up i hope you're also feeling an amazing blood rush which i am feeling it on my head my face and there is just so much of calmness right now and now guys it's time for us to let the body absorb everything that we have just done on the on the mat and heal so we get into everybody's favorite pose which is shavasan just lying down make sure that your legs are a little bit away from each other and your palms are facing up you relax your shoulders keep your jaws relaxed unclench your teeth close your eyes and you do justice to the name of the pose which is corpse pose just become like a dead body dropping everything from your mind body everything on the mat
and now let's start bringing your awareness back rotate your ankles your wrist your head side to side inhale to stretch your entire body from head to toe exhale to relax and i slowly turn on your left or your right hand side whichever is comfortable for you and once you turn just bring your knees into the chest stay like a child just the way a child stays inside a mother's womb and slowly push the mat to come sit up and sit taller and now guys you can just choose to sit either in sukhasan or you can also get into padmasan if you have got open hips and if you think that your hips are feeling good and flexible you can just get into a nice padmasan to conclude our practice with some good breathing exercises put your palms on your knees and you begin with the belly breathing so as you inhale ensure that your stomach comes out so you can also put one hand on your stomach one hand on your chest eyes closed we will inhale to the counts of 4 so that our stomach comes out and we will exhale to the counts of 4 and our stomach will go back in so let's begin eyes closed let's start inhaling 1 Two, three, and four. Start exhaling. Four, three, two, one. Inhale again. One, two, three, four. Start exhaling. Four, three, two, one. One last round. One, two. Three, four. Start exhaling. Four, three, two, one, and relax. And now bringing our hands back on your knees, eyes closed, hands in Chin Mudra, spine nice and tall. We keep a little smile on the face. You know our body doesn't understand the difference between a genuine or a fake smile, laughter. it naturally releases happy hormones so let's keep a smile on our face watch every incoming and every outgoing breath of ours for a few seconds And let's inhale to chant a round of Om and three Shantis, breathing in. Om Shanti Hi Shanti Hi Shanti Hi. Rub your palms very gently, so that you can create some heat around your palms. and then slowly put it on your eyes your face and then rub it all over the body even the soles of your feet fall your head down and you express a lot of gratitude towards your body towards this beautiful new day you're able to see and when you open your eyes you look down thanking mother earth your mat space and look up Thank you so much. Thanks a lot for practicing with me on the mat. I hope you're nice, opened up, refreshed, rejuvenated. Keep coming back for more such flows and never forget that your body is your own temple. Have a good day, guys. Namaste.